Ah, so you are the new partner. A pleasure to meet you. Bodan Fedik, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> a kindred soul, surely. You aren't worried about venturing into such a dangerous place? Not with such fine protection. We'll face both Darkspawn and the Unknown. Indeed. And who knows what shall await us at the end. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fabled dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. I like enchantment. <laughs> and he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true road. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine man. After all his accomplishments, may he find even greater success. Oh, <sighs> pity how the hero met her end. For such a woman to die as she slew the great archdemon. A tragic, if heroic, tale. I hear that the hero is married to the king now. <laughs> Fancy that. A Grey Warden Queen. Ah. But surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. I don't need anything right now. I look forward to our voyage together. <sighs> oh, there you are. <sighs> I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. We can't all be short and bearded like your people, Bodan. <sighs> Indeed. It's quite a shame, really. I was called to the keep on important business, Bodan. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. Is there something you want, Bodan? I came to deliver this to you. The last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. So you raced here just to give me this? I didn't want to be responsible for so much coin. Just holding that purse was making me sweat. I recall Varric saying there would be more. There was, in fact, but your mother took some for the mansion. I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, there, there's a, a, a gentleman waiting at the mansion. He insists on seeing you. He says his name is Dougal. Your mother thought it wise, I tell you, Messina. I paid Dougal years ago. Why would he be back now? He wouldn't tell me, I'm afraid. He refused to come back another day, even after I told him repeatedly that I didn't know when you would return. He doesn't really seem like the most reputable sort, I'm afraid, even for a dwarf. You ran all this way just to tell me I had a visitor? I didn't want to presume what you might find important, Messina. You left him alone in the mansion with Mother. My boy Sandal is with her. But, uh, you make a good point. I'll run back right away. I'll talk to him as soon as I'm ready. Yes, of course. I'll let him know right away. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. Let me guess. 
This was Mother's idea? <laughs> As you say, yes. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. I assume he'll pitch in just like you. Of course. I'll keep a close eye on him so his enchantments don't do any damage. I promise you that. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bodan. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your business. But don't forget about your guest. Your mother claims he was eye the silverware. Boom! Ah, there he goes again. How he makes these things, I'll never know. I've never seen another dwarf like him. Does this run in your family? Not at all, but Sandal isn't really my son. I found him in the deep roads when I left Orzammar for good. Raised him as my own now. Isn't that right, my boy? I like Bodan. He's always been this way. Always collecting things and enchanting them. Strange, I suppose. Have you ever thought of finding out more? Well, I did. I brought him to the Circle of Magi about a year after we got to the surface. They called him a savant. But then they started giving him the eye like they were going to keep him, so we left. Not going back to those vultures. Sandal's happy as he is. Sandal's quite useful to have around. That he is. Also, I've always said. Oh, Maker knows what'll happen when I'm gone. I try not to think about it. I want some pie. Perhaps he'll be the first dwarven mage. Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't know. The actual mages don't do enchanting, do they? Just the ones who had their magic taken away. Tranquil! Yes. Them. So long as he doesn't engulf the place in flames. No, no. He wouldn't do that. Again. I should make it go boom? No, no, no. Not this time, my boy. No boom. The old lady is scary. There is no old lady, Sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, my boy sees things sometimes. Says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Yes, well, there you go. Things have been very troubling these last few years, haven't they? I, uh, I was thinking that it might soon be time for my boy and I to move on. Who'll clean up all the bloodstains? <laughs> There's more bloody footprints in this home than anywhere else in Kirkwall, I swear. What about your so-called debt? Well, I have served you for years now. Not to mention that you do have your Rana. You don't really need me. It's an honor to serve the champion of Kirkwall. Make no mistake, but I'm getting older. It's time to see the Sandal's future. I'll stay on until arrangements are made. I hope that's all right. I'm almost tempted to go along with you. <laughs> Have a bit of the wander lust yourself, eh? Hopefully this business with the Templars doesn't get worse before we go. I worry about you, Miss Eyre. If you're worried about Sandal, I can help him out. Oh, well, that's mighty kind of you, but it's unnecessary. My boy's been offered a position in Orlay. It seems the Empress herself found one of his enchantments and is intrigued. Can you imagine? Us in the Imperial Court. I didn't need a manservant in the first place. Good. Then it's settled. 
It's been quite pleasant having Master Anders staying here, Monsieur. Yeah, <laughs> he's funny. And he finds my boys and chanting quite intriguing. Mm. That's the word he used. It's too bad he seems so intent on whatever it is he works on. If I may say so, I don't think Mistress Merrill is exactly um, comfortable staying in the estate. She's pretty. She still goes to the alienage often, usually when you're not home. Something draws her there. I can't imagine what. Still, my boy and I do like her very much. Just thought you should know. If you need any enchantments, I'm sure my boy would be happy to help. Enchantment? Just so. Quite a lovely estate you have here. Isn't that right, Sandal? I'm sorry I broke it. Ah, uh, yes. Well, we'll get that replaced right away. Sorry about that. I'll miss this city when we go somehow. Even the rats. Rats go squeak. Don't worry, my boy. There's plenty of rats in Orlay. They just squeak with a funny accent. All the cleaning's been done, and your equipment has been thoroughly tainted. Could I have some salamanders, please? Don't do it. That's where the boom comes from, I think. That big tower in the lake is scary. He means the gallows, and I quite agree. I want to go home. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise. <laughs>